Alright guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Hunter Mill and today I have the 2018 Ford Escape here and I'm going to be showing you the lane keeping assist system on it. So we're actually going to go out on the highway, I'm going to show you how to activate it as well as how to use it and how the, uh, how the features work with it um, as far as you know, alerting us and assisting us and staying in our lane. So I'm going to show you all of that, but first I'm actually going to show you uh, the screens here and stuff because it'll be a little hard to do while we're driving. So I'll show you how to uh, actually turn it on as well as where to pay attention uh, so you can see your status with the lanes. So let's go ahead and get started with that and then we're going to drive out on the highway and give it a test. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you a couple of these features here, how to turn it on and exactly where to pay attention to for the lane keeping assist. So I'll show you that now. Um, to actually activate it, you can see there's a little lane keeping assist uh, uh, symbol right here. And the button is actually on the end of your knob for your turn signals or your brights here. So all you do is you hit that and then you can see that these lines show up right here and with your vehicle in the center there and that shows you that you are in the center of the lanes. Now right now it's, it's the silver color because there's no lanes detected. As soon as it detects the lanes, those will be green and that will let you know that you're in the middle of the lanes. Once you start to drift off to one side as a warning, one will turn yellow and uh, it'll change to where only one is illuminated. So if we start drifting to the left, our left lane here will light up. And then once we actually start to cross it, it'll turn red. And then that's when the uh, steering wheel will begin to vibrate. And that's when the uh, steering column will override us and it'll actually turn us back into the lane there. So I'll, I'll show you again how that works out on the highway. So let's, let's pull this thing out of the garage here. We'll get on the highway and I'll show you how it works. Alright guys, we're here on the highway, so I'm going to be demonstrating the lane keeping assist for you now. Uh, sorry I can't look back too much, but like I said, we're on the highway here, so definitely want to pay attention to the road here. Uh, I have the lane keeping assist turned on now, so I'm going to turn on the turn signal so it allows me to get into our lane here. And now, I don't have anyone here behind me, so it'll be okay for me to test this here now. But basically what it's going to do, okay, so I've got it all on here and everything. Up on our 4 inch LCD uh, cluster up here, it's showing us that we're green on both sides. That's because we're in the center here. So, I have it set now to, uh, to alert and assist. Now there's three modes you can set it to. You can have it to just alert, to where it'll vibrate the steering wheel for you. You can have it to assist, where it'll actually assist in turning you back into your lane. And then you can have it set to alert and assist, where it's going to do both simultaneously. Now, the other thing that you can do with it as well is um, you, you, can, you can have it set to where if, if you start, you know, like if I were to turn off right here, it, it's going to try and, and uh, you know, get me back in the lane or whatever. All you have to do is continue to turn the steering wheel that way or just move it a little sharper and it'll cut off and it'll let you switch there. Or, of course, your turn signal, which is what you should do, and then that'll have you, that automatically disables it for whichever side you have your turn signal set to. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and drift into the left lane here a little bit so I can show you what it does here. So on the screen here, it's starting to turn yellow. Okay, so it's... Now that we're driving up, going around the corner there, it's going to disable it for a second. But now that we've started to get back over on the side of it, actually get into the left lane over here, I'll go into the right. The lines are a little better on this side, it being winter time, it, it's a little hard for it to read it sometimes, but now we're getting the perfect reading for it. So now I'm going to start drifting into the right side a little bit. Okay, now it's pulling my steering wheel back the other way. If I continue to go over, and now it's, see now it's vibrating, and now it's pulling me over into the left side again. So it, it works simultaneously, it's going to vibrate that steering wheel. While in, while in the meantime, it's pulling you back over. So, I'll do it one more time going over to the left here. I have no one behind me. So we're green now. And now it's starting to bring us back in. And now I'll do it again. And now it's bringing us back in. So it's a really nice feature to have. It'll keep you, especially if, if you do what I do sometimes, where I tend to look at the scenery a little bit too much. It's actually going to, you know, 
besides the besides getting the vibration there, uh, you know, feeling the pull on the steering wheel always helps me focus back on the road there. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you uh, learned a lot about the lane keeping assist and that you enjoyed the video as well. If you have any other questions about the lane keeping assist system or this 2018 Ford Escape in general, you can give myself again Hunter a call at 907-376-5656 or you can come see me here at your dealership at 2701 East Mountain Village Drive. I look forward to seeing you and answering any questions that you have. So once again, thank you, and tune in next week for our next video. Bye-bye.